Losing the person I loved the most was one of the hardest things I've ever had to face. And because I was away from home, it made it much more difficult. That is when I saw how important it is to have a friend. A friend to ease the burden. A friend to take care of things when you can't. A friend to help you get home. In 2001, Zimbabwe's Sawira Mukuru was born, humble beginnings though they were, and armed with nothing but a vision. Philip Mataranyika, Nyaradzo Group CEO, saw a need in Zimbabwe society, a need that needed a strong hand to fulfill it, a vision to provide the best possible service to its clientele in order to meet the demand for efficient, client-based funeral services in Zimbabwe. Investing in infrastructure, machinery, vehicles, staff training. Armed with the CEO's vision and mission to be the preferred provider of insurance risk and event management solutions. Through listening to and understanding the needs of our stakeholders with due care for the environment, we grew and grew. We crossed the Limpopo into South Africa. Over the Mediterranean and British Tunnel. And we continued to grow. Through the good times, and the bad. Whether in the city or in the village or diaspora. All we had and all we have is each other. 20 years of service. Thank you. Thank you. 20 years of gratefulness. Thank you. 20 years of thanksgiving. Thank you. 20 years of memories. Thank you. 20 years of hope. Thank you. Thank you. Hope for an even greater future. Thank you. Thank you. The Nyaradzo group of companies would like to thank all our clients for working side by side with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. From all of us here at Nyaradzo, the past 20 years wouldn't have been possible without you. Thank you. Today is a special day for the Nyaradzo group as we celebrate 20 years since our founding with humility and gratitude. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all stakeholders, our board of directors, management and staff, as well as our customers who have supported us through this journey. It's been an exciting journey and I'd like to thank you all for all the support and the hard work.
Hello, hello football fans. Welcome to another exciting episode of In Touch with the Legend. This is your favorite footballing show where we bring you a Zimbabwean football legend to come and share with us their football journey, their shenanigans and everything else football about their life. Today in the studio, we have got none other than Desi, Desi Kapenya in this show, wonderful show brought to you by Nyarazo Group. Yes, Desi is in the house. Desi, at last, we are here. Continue. Yeah, c'est c'est le fait de le C'est bon, Yes, uh, we are here. You know, uh -huh. we have always wanted to come here, and we kept on promising we're gonna come, we're gonna come. But we are here today, and everybody wants to know Desika Peña, Desika Peña of Highlanders, former soccer star of the year. Everything we want to know about him today. You are here to tell us the story. How did it all start? The football story. Uh, firstly, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, my real name is Desidelio Capena. Yes. And uh, I grew up here in Bulawayo. Uh, I was born in Harare. Uh, you were born in Harare? I was born in Harare and I, I, I grew up in, Bula in Bulawayo. Uh, it's like uh, uh, Ubabam. Mm -hmm. He used to work uh, for a company called Melin. So he was transferred uh, in the late uh, 80s. Melin is a clothing company. Melin was a clothing company. Yes, yes. So he was transferred to come and work here in Bulueyo. So by that time, I was still in Ansa Semgani Nganga So mm. when we came here to Bulueyo, I, I did my education here in Bulueyo. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's how I basically came to, to Bulueyo. Uh, oh, because your father was from was My was father, father was transferred, transferred to, to work here in Bulueyo. And you started the education here, primary school. Which primary school did you go to? I went to Mafagela Primary School. And I, went, I also went to uh, Mawaba Primary School. That, those were primaries. Then I also went to Njube Secondary School. Did you play soccer in primary school? Yeah. Uh, okay, Bora. Basically, what else have you learned? The love for soccer, it was an important thing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, from the age of, uh, I think, uh, nine, ten. Villing us in Lalipora, Labani, see Silalipora, M. Cocaine, things like that. Yeah. And uh, we used to interact like Gutala. Uh, uh, Sasis organized a yama games at Temco Queen Silala Lapa in the streets. Yeah, this street versus this street. The, the street yeah. the, the, this is the street. Oh, that line versus this line. Yeah. So that's how we, we, we started playing playing soccer. Mm -hmm. So I would say, uh, uh, Pandagas or Tam Tanga Tamba Borari Runonia Swane Kera. I think I was in grade, grade five. Grade five. Yeah. Uh, that's that's when I joined a certain uh, junior club. We are going to Makwegwe. Pandaga in the Koko. I still remember uh, we were to meet with the likes of Anna Caesar Koza. Mm -hmm. We were to meet with the likes of Anna Benjani. Uh, we were to miss with, with the likes of Anam Lungisi, Lungisi Ndebele, who once played for Zimbabwe Saints. Yes, yes, I remember. Uh, yeah. uh, the junior team that I played for uh, growing up, Yainzi Young Blood, mm. it was a, a junior club which was situated in Magwekwe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but in, I was staying in Lopengula. So, how did you end up, did you end up in Magwekwe? Uh, by then, there were very few junior teams. Okay, so yeah. the closest junior team that was in my area was uh, uh, Young Blood. And you loved football. I loved football, and for the. Eh, uh, so they tell us that I wanted something which was more serious. Yeah, yeah. So I to enroll to a certain certain junior club. So the closest junior club which was there in my area was uh, uh, Young Blood. Mm. So I started started with Young, with young Blood in the under. Uh, 14s. Mm. I I think when I started there, I, I was still 18. So uh, by then, when I was to introduce my my under 12 or under 18 or under, it's like, it was like started, uh, started under 14, under 16, under under 18. 18. So I started in the under 14s. Mm. So that's when I, I I go to meet the likes of Anna BNG, Maruaru. Benji was we were, were playing in the same team. Benji was from was uh, from Akwegwe. Yeah. and we were we were, we were not from Akwegwe. That was the only junior team 
Yanga iri paduze. So, when they say they wanted to play for that, for that junior team, because yeah. my junior teams, angari, angari po, uh, they were the likes of Highlanders, but it was very difficult to just come and... Uh, uh, and uh, by then, uh, it was very difficult for Munanugara. Uh, it's just that we society like kuto a kuse society is out of our favor. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Can I cheat in our favor? There, there, there was something that used to separate. Eh. Van vanu gara kuma high density sebab. Eh. Ne vanu gara kuno kozim zidiga zi endi makokoba. They were considered as van ve 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 town kuno. So it was one returners because one got to the new turners. So we we guys who used to come from Mama, um, um, <laughs> so they ah, uh, they uh, by then there was this belief which is ah, when we were one of our co, they were they are not that good. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, I would like to say, uh, there are so many players who have actually come from uh, that other side of the yeah. town uh, that actually made it yeah. and uh, made it did very well. Kanga kari ngurika belief. Kanga kari Kanga kari po. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, I, I graduated from the under four, 14s, mm -hmm. the kind of under 16, and from under 16, uh, uh, I also graduated to, to the under 18s. Who was coaching? Uh, that team, Makoshi Zangari, po, that I, I, I remember now, Kwanga Kuni Mwenze, I always talk to Lani, who's over the moon, I sit on the owner of the team, Sasimbiza Utang Samachu. He was very, very, uh, he liked soccer. That man lived soccer. Yeah. Uh, so he was the owner of the team, he was the, coaching also. He was the owner of the team, and you, at times he used to coach, okay. but he, Angani Makoshi Zaki, I, I employer who used to coach us. Uh, I think those guys, uh, they did very well. Cause uh, if you see in, in a in one team, Mushi produce uh, uh, maybe ten players who who went on to play in different teams in my Premier League. Yeah. Which means you they were doing well. They were doing something. Uh, good, uh, something uh. right. And uh, I still remember some of the experiences that we had with my juniors. Uh, our coach Samachu Angari he was a very different uh, type of a person. Why Mumuntu I listen to Zaga is Kolelo. I still remember there was a day we were supposed to play Zimbabwe Sense. So I uh, why Sugem Seven Zin. So what is Sugem Seven Zin? Why Chai Sex Sin? It was on a Saturday. So Tina, we were supposed to go and play. So ah, Sis Kambili Lapana a a grounding. Usama chu wase buya. Wase sita ano guys. I don't. I don't think we should play this game. Why? Let, let me postpone this game. And now guys are So yeah. uh, it was a, a, a very big debate with, with the yeah. coaches. So it's just that things are What 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 really was what, what was happening? Yeah. So angota ano isn't to zama angis lumisanga uli. What a lapa vele is in a hambassel, la lapa sea jew. Yeah, a lapa vele is in a lapa is in a lunga 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 one of the best games that I, I think we, we played Kuma, Kuma Juniors. Mm -hmm. uh, so after the game, we like say some booze. I said, 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 I we so encountered. So you never got to know what he's into. Ah, yeah. We are still young. We didn't know. We didn't know what he, he, there was something. Zwaita hey. or there was something hey. that was supposed to be done before we play. So you never went on to ask. Ah, we never went on to ask because hey. I know <laughs> Kanorim Diki. When you ask him, when you I know. Why are we doing this? It seems that no one would Oh, but tell me, you were playing for young blood. Yes. Uh, when we, 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 we
ne Highlanders. How does how how was the feeling? Nukuti muchi tamba muchi ba uku muchi no tamba ne Highlanders. Or you are playing against against this Zimbabwe side. By then, it was a very good uh, motivation to play uh, uh, against Highlanders. Cause the Highlanders uh, by then they used to like when you are, when you are playing Highlanders, Highlanders can in a game or first team in a game. Uh, the junior the, the, the junior teams will start playing at nine okay. so you'll be playing inside the stadium so it was it was your opportunity. I, you know it was an opportunity to play you know Baba you Baba played Fields Baba Fields because my highlander supporters they knew their their their, their, their juniors mm. so they will like come early in the morning at nine they start watching from the juniors from the under 14s under 15s under 16s under 18s so yeah. when you play uh, uh, under 18s la pan was under 18 this, the ground will be like uh, almost, almost uh, full. fully fully pegged. So, hey, it was an opportunity. Yeah, yeah, for 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 some it was an opportunity. But um, hey, you, pay, pay one out, ah, you just collapse because <laughs> those guys they used to support. They will support their juniors. Mm. So why it was a reason? Reason was a reason. Reason. I learned that say you among my teams twenty in Papa Fields <laughs> because <laughs> of that uh, inferiority. Yeah. 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 Then you collapse. Then you 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 collapse. I'm not saying that you 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 are you are playing in in Baba Mutamba Mloni, Mabusa Rukuzweza. Even when they knew what they are playing, so the 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 right stars to to bring when they are playing in Baba Fields. Yeah. So there was a lot of things that will affect you when you are playing Highlanders. Eh, uh, eh, uh, Mu Baba Fields is, is juniors. Yeah. Mm. So uh. uh I can recall. Uh, I also went to went to the same school with Ronald Spanda. Kidiza, Kidiza, and the and I from grade six. We were playing the same team. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you. Go to high school. You said you went in Jube. Uh, when I was at primary, I said in Daga and Ronald Kuchkoro from primary. Oh, okay. Then we went on to to Jube together. Okay. So uh, by then. I think uh, I was one of the luckiest guys to experience my passes at Ronald because by then I was a striker. Uh, I, I, I was a striker. Yeah, I was a striker. I scored a lot of goals. You were a striker? Yes, I was a striker. Okay. Because okay. uh, growing up at school in the Ita Okay, yeah. I was good at sprinting. So uh, when we started the track in the Bora, it was easy because. Uh, I had someone like Ronald, so like put those passes behind the the defenders, and I would pass everyone. So these passes, uh, passes uh, I think when we're in grade grade five, grade uh, grade six, going to grade seven, so you I will you will like pass that ball behind the defenders because I, I can run. Uh, because I could run, <laughs> and uh, I still remember I was the top goal scorer, which Korokedu. Nima passes are Ronald. I am assisted are Ronald. I'm not going to get this area that time. By that time, is is it around to get this? Rangara Rangara to Vapo. Where did he come from? Uh, I'm going to talk to him and ask him where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, if you happen to to see him, you you let you tell you. But uh, what I know is that get I I yes, in the way I go get this about. Ah, get this. So you 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 make you like dance kanane bore because nengwa gu dance gu chuni yake. Yeah. Uh, so uh, he was one of the guys. Wandaka Tamba na he was my best friend and we are, we are still my best friend. And I think from the same school that we pataka yataka ziza were the only two guys who went on to play prof professional in in, in the Zim league and we went on to play uh, together. In the national team. So, Mangafura and Rukuba were primary school. Magati, let's go together to 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 Njobe. Ah, uh, the nearest school which was there was Njobe. <coughs> okay. Uh, so everyone else, I achieve a There was a class of my my, my primary schools, mm -hmm. but everyone wanted Njobe because Njobe was a was a brand. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Because at Njobe, we also had love more love more Njobe. Love mo nube i agadzi zaku kunjube kunjube. I think uh, Nakamba as well went on went to again zaku kunjube. Kunjube as well. Uh, so it's a it's a it's a, it's a brand. So did you used to compete with Zimbabwe? Because Zimbabwe is doing very well. Yeah. 
Yeah, we used to compete with Anam Zilikas, but Isusu ties operera kure cause vanu vebora vanga vareva show makwedu. You will find in our team maybe to get three, three, four. So with teams like Zilikas, Sobukas, they will be like having the whole team playing for Zimbabwe Saints Islanders. Sobukwanga wene Sobukas. So if you find your team in a half players who are playing for Islanders, half players playing for for Zimbabwe Saints. So you you name them just yeah 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 But as for us, Isusu, we will find that maybe when when they were who will be good, maybe when they were two or three. Mm. So your chances of progressing going down to the next stages, it was very, it was very difficult. It was frustrating. Very frustrating. It was not easy to get through it was not easy. So you you was you stand your your grounds for you to, to be uh to be to be noticed in, in those teams. I it was not easy. Because the competition by that by that time, mm. there were few teams kuma kuma juniors, yeah. and uh, so uh, teams like Highlanders they will only attract only good players. The best. Yeah. Then ibamwa wanike wasara wanjuo vai wea kwa chai tamba kuni ni ni zume kuma. Growing up, younger people, but yagazo, yagazo collapse. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. There was uh, Highlanders, Zimbabwe Saints. Uh, there were teams like Young Blood. There were teams like. Ah, uh, I'm not going to say what coach you. There was Yeah, Young Young Blood was what. It was not bad because yeah. uh, <laughs> they managed to produce at least a, a couple of players. Yeah. Uh, so you, you played in, the, in that same team with Benjani under I, eighteen. Uh, Did you play with with Benjani who young blood under eighteen? I played with Benjani because Benjani in any Taisiana I was a little bit ahead with Benjani. Okay, yes. I I in in mm -hmm. So Benjani Angari Pasi. So when I when I was in the under fourteens. I mean, when I was in the under 16s, he was in, in, in the under 14s. Oh, but he, Zwaitika, we had players who play in the under 14s and players players who play in the under under 16s yeah. again. So he was one the, of them. He was one of them. Uh. Yeah. So from under 18, where did you go? Because I want to think with young blood, young guys in a team in the Premier League, young guys in division or division or yeah, it, it was just a junior team. It was just a junior so where team. Did you go? Where, did you, where did you where did you go from there? Fortunately enough, a uh, after uh, the junior league, Pane team we are trainer in the same area that we we we, we were training in the corrugated. It was a company team. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we corrugated. So corrugated, uh, young guy, uh, got a partnership with young blood. So they would like uh, give their players to to corrugated. Yes. So all the good players corrugated. Yeah, mm. So I uh, I still remember. Uh, Inini and this other guy, Ains Matanisa, one of my best friends, Watakatamba Nayak, which called Futina and Ronald. Mm -hmm. We went on to play for Korakated. Oh, my God. Yangarim Division 2. Division 2. Okay. Uh, Division 2. We went on to play for Korakated. Uh, Irim Division 2. I think I started playing for Korakated when I was still at school. I think I was in Form 3. Oh, okay. I was, then I was playing uh, Division now 2 football. Div div division 2. Uh, so, how did you end up at Highlanders? Uh, I played for Corrugated uh, for two years when they were in Division Two. Then the third year we got promoted to to play in Division One. Yeah. Uh, I played uh, for another two years in in Division One. Then uh, one of our managers is Corrugated. Uh, fortunately, Angari, a life member, where Islanders mm. uh, used to. Uh, by then. Islanders and guys now, like my buses to carry, away. so they would like use my small cars to to the game. Uh, to, to the game, so players would like get into the small cars and they go to the game. So Cornelius Moyo was one of the guys who used to carry my players. Ashenda Kunigrin, and fortunately, he was our, our our manager. Ku okay. yes. our manager even Kukubor. Yes. So Cornelius Moyo. Uh, I will say he is one guy who really motivated me uh, 
kuti ndino ndi pedzi renda kwa ilendas cause every time we like tapeza training we go to his house at what big random cards wake and we talk about soccer i still remember there was a big chamber and love he was at mtala and i was at corrugated and there was another guy who played for amazulu ah I am with Farida. So you like motivate talking about, talking about Highlanders, things like that. What, what, what. So uh, when I finally joined Highlanders, in, in uh, they, 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 I just want to hold you there. That's where we want to start when we go back from the break. We're just going to go for a break. We want to know how, how it happened. How did you end up? What did he tell you for you to end up being at Islanders? Guys, we're just going to go for a break. When you come back, we want to know how Desika Peña started his journey at Highlanders. Don't move away. We are back in a minute. Yara's a group. Powering the show. Hey, Yara's a group. Powering the show. God knows Murgira, Dynamo's football club player. It's a privilege working with Nyaradzo. Nyaradzo bought us a bus which we use for our training and all our matches. My name is Apia Sylvester from Ghana, Dynamo's FC football player. I'm happy to be part of the Scope Park plan. It covers unlimited members of your family. My name is Emmanuel Jalai, Dynamo's FC player. Make sure you join Nyaradzo a scopic plan because if you join Nyara's scopic plan, you get grocery allowance on your funeral. My name is Albert Yonde, Dynamo's football club player from Cameroon. It's always good to have company like Nyarazo supporting us. When you get the Scopec plan, you're also supporting Dynamo's football club. My name is Sujana Muringai, Dynamo's football player. Get the Nyarazo Scopec plan to cover your family and support Dynamo's football club. I am Nyarazo Dia, Dynamo's football club goalkeeper. When you get the Nyarazo Scopec plan, all the children under the age of 23 are covered for free. Join the Scope plan today. Get the Nyarazu Scope plan today. Get the Nyarazu Scope plan today. Nyaradzo, we strive to continuously bring convenience to our clients. Nyaradzo Group is proud to introduce Sawi, a new virtual chatbot assistant on WhatsApp. With Sawi, you are now able to interact with us from the comfort of your home and can be assisted anytime via WhatsApp. With life assurance products, diaspora products, applying and assessing your policy, payment platforms, claims information and any other queries concerning payments, policy information or products and services. Simply WhatsApp Sawi on plus 263-712-992892 or visit the link showing on the screen to register and start interacting and receiving notifications from Sawi on WhatsApp. Now, join in and experience a new level of convenience 24 hours a day with Sawi. Yes, guys, welcome back. Interview the legend. We've got the legend in the house, Jessica Peña, former Boso player. The legend in Blaio. He's telling us about his story. He is about to tell us how he ended up at Highlanders. We knew, we heard about Cornelius Moyo. What did he say? What did Cornelius Moyo say to you? Yeah, Cornelius Moyo, he actually believed in me. Mm -hmm. uh, he actually believed in uh, Van Vadik. So by then I wanted 
I was in the verge of uh, transferring to go to another division team, division one team, which which is called which was called Kango by then. So why did you want to go to Kango? Uh, you say we we are corrugated. So in seven Zangalin say when you get so I was offered a, a better package. A better package it can go even a kubasa. Oh yeah, okay, yes. So that's when Cornelius in Cornelius intervened. Mm -hmm. uh, Anga to Taurana uh, Matinda. Matinda Ndo Matinda Ndo was the yeah. uh, head coach at that time. Mm -hmm. Uh, being assisted by Raman Gumbo. Mm -hmm. So he had already spoken to them. Akava uh, you know, I've got a player that I believe he can, uh, he can make it here. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I got a call from Madinda. I still remember we met at the, uh, at the Highlanders Club office and uh, Highlanders, younger to our it was a pre season, younger uh, time a pre season. Okay. So, <coughs> Islanders was already in camp. We angaga camp aku kuma kuma soja kuluelin. Okay. Uh, so I came. He told me to gazira zunzo angu my kit, everything that everything that I needed. So I brought everything that I needed for the because they were in camp for almost two weeks. Oh, okay. Kuma so soja. he wanted to, to take you. To uh, he wanted to take me to the prison okay. camp. Okay. Yeah. So we went there. Uh, uh, it was ninety seven. Mm -hmm. So. We went to the camp. Uh, Pandaka Suika, I still remember when I got there. I was tiny, very tiny. Mm. And the uh, I still remember Rambo, Ashindiwona, and the Shiburuk. So, Taka train. After training, Tadzogera ku Kwatai Norar. So, Tanga Tati Tagara, Takujika. So, Rambo was a city, Katimati Nganga won't be a woman for no tagileo. Catching a woman upon a woman upon Fanaconok. So I knowing good Rambo Muna Muna Kaita say what was I was very, very intimidated. So he called me a Dagavanda and Aquari, a Rambo, and then he told me to sit next to him. So he he started talking to me. I know your rooms grow and I don't want anyone to know up and up. Anything that you want here, eh, ban vanu kupa vagataza kupa. They 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 will have me to answer to, to answer to it. Yeah. Eh. So we started getting along in Rambo, and Rambo was a friend in Willard. So in okay. Dagabanda, okay. they, they, they were very close. So, so in Dagabanda, to can't do any green, mu 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 kikeni. So we went on to edit again. Our training Rambo eight days. Uh, by then Rambo, it was uh, my twilight of his career. Yes. Of his career. So to edit again our training, Rambo, I choose a uh, ini ini never go far now. Because we like craft for him. Yes. We we'll work for him and give him the balls and do it. So I have to find it always. Mm. So we used to call him Uncle Rambo. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, from there we trained for two weeks. My games and no Tangisa when we came back, and uh, that was towards uh, the the f my, my first games of Tanga. Yeah. I still remember my my debut match mm. was against Chapungu. We played against Chapungu in in in. So Bale. how were you signed after the preseason? Well, we were in office. What was the process? Then they inquired with the Ndangashi Tamba Kupi, and they knew where, where, where they, in fact, they knew where, where I was playing, and they spoke to one Unyan corrugated. And I don't know what transpired. All I wanted was to play for Islanders. That was the big. That was the. Uh, I think Pani Maria Kabuda, but I was not I was not concerned about what what came out. I didn't even bother to ask what what was happening. All I wanted was that I'm now in the ranks for Islanders. And you know, playing for Islanders, Diana Gasanga Utambra Islanders. Yeah, in Dambu, the Utambu Matusa, but in this Gawan chance, but now in the Ufest. 
so it was a, ve a very big opportunity for me yeah. uh, and uh, I, 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 I always be grateful for that opportunity and I'll always be grateful to Madinda and uh, Raman for the opportunity that they gave me you know it's not like every player gets the opportunity to play especially you know you, it's, it is the coach who gives you the opportunity of course, yeah. so if you are not given the opportunity by the coach there's no way you can showcase your, 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 talent. your talent but i'm grateful that, that they, they gave me the opportunity i still remember that time islanders things were very hard who were, who, were, who, were, who were playing the first team at that time uh, they were the likes of makenyati ninja. ninja love moon Mube, uh, yeah. Ve. Yeah. they were the likes of leni kwata they were the likes of uh, uh, Anasimba Rusike. Uh, they were the likes of. Uh, Anasimba, yes. Uh, I was with him under 17 at some point. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Ana Rambo, they were also there. And uh, they were the likes of Ana Willard Kumalo. But uh, Willard Kumalo, I think that he, 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 he was on, his, on the twilight of his career. He was loaned to Zisco Steel. Oh, okay. Uh, so there were there were a number of uh, good senior players who, who, who were there but they welcomed you ah uh, they all welcomed me uh, 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 they welcomed me i never got any problem from the senior players because uh, they made my com they made me with individual comfortable you were, because you were, a good, you were a good player I don't know. I, I don't know yeah, by yeah, then. Usually, when you know, come by senior players, they hey. notice which is with this boy. He is really good. He will need him in the team. He needs to gel with us. You know, usually, you know, they will they will make a meal of you. Exactly. Yeah. So I, st I still remember. Uh, uh, Borar and I Tambaru Division One, Borar Premier, it was a bit different. Yeah. So the, those guys they used to give me tips on how things in Premier League would be. Kuno Maka say, you sister Nata Jara Borar Division One, Tinya, Munu, no Famba Nai, Unenda Nai, would defend that. Mary O'Main, even as no one for that, Unu, Unenda Nai, Unu, Aka Aka Buddha Panze, no one for Miro Panze, Baboe. Uh, but you know when you came to the premier premier league it was different because pre premier league my ground i think Agakura, you like uh, mark spaces things like that you know the kind of football in india yeah and uh, the kind of football in india utamba premier league is a bit mature than mu, mu division one mm. so uh, i think the senior players were present at that time they ma they helped me manage to to say yeah uh, so take, take us through your your debut your debut match yeah our debut match like i said it was against a, a chapung in gueru a, yeah it was pegged i had never played against a against a, such such a crowd because my crowd in and my crowd is division one, one. Yes. and and you know corrugated no corrugated something like that yeah. but you know uh, coming premier league it was different because you know you'll be watched by more than five thousand people yeah. and, uh, was, 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 and uh, there's also the media the media has to write something mm. and uh uh, we we drew that game two two. Did you start? Yes, I started. It was I started at the back. We were playing a three five two formation. Formation mm -hmm. by then it was me, Big Timber, as the two guys were picking, and we had uh, Makenyati playing as a sweeper o, 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 on our back. Makenyati was playing as a sweeper. Yeah, Makenyati. Makenyati was a utility player, so yeah. you could play it in the midfield or we played in the at the back. So because we, we 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 the two of us, me and Big Timber, we just coming from division division one. Yeah. Oh, you said Big Timber was it from Tala? Big Timber was was from Tala. Yeah. And yeah, I was yeah. also from Koro. So yeah, we needed someone who uh, someone who, who had experience to play uh, play with us at the yeah, back. Yeah. So my Kenya was the guy who we played with. So yeah. how did Matinda tell you about your debut? About your debut? Did he just announce the team, or he came to you? He talked to you about our new band. This is how we want to play. Well, how, a, how did he announce? A day before, uh, Madinda would like select his team a day before the match. Mm. So he would like uh, tell us our roles. Would he? He we 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 nza lala so nza lala so nza lala so. And I still remember one visa mina one jelo watinan. 
this is an opportunity for you to play soccer and we we saw we saw what is in you and we are entrusting you at the heart of the defense so iwewe apana shinji defense on fan ukuita just do what you normally do even kind of through training mm. and i uh, instilled some confidence in me you know i felt I, I, I was ready to go and do something you know when the coach gives you that uh, encouragement when the coach entrusts you with i know i'm fielding you yeah. and i know you can do the job you know i was uh, i felt like uh, repaying back for the yeah. confidence that he, he has in me yeah mm. how did the game go yeah it was quite tough it was quite tough because by then Chapungu uh, had the legs of an uncle Modonga and an Abel, an Abel, the Abel brothers, the two, two, the two, two, the twins, and it was not Wellington Shangi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a very, very good uh, uh, Chapungu squad. So I still remember it was us who scored first. They went on to equalize, and they went on to score the they took the lead yes. and we had to come back from uh, from, behind. from behind i think uh, we equalized kwasara almost is it five or ten minutes mm. that's when we equalized but uh, you know uh, mm. when at that particular time uh, the team was not playing well okay. to be honest the team was not playing well that time because mm. uh, even uh, going on to the second uh, to the second game Van, van gava sa wey ku ground because the team was not playing well. You know, a, a big team like Islanders, if the team starts not playing well, van they, 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 they stay at home. So that was the scenario that that was there that at that particular time. So I remember after the match, Madinda he came to me. Ah, uh, she uh, congratulate. I know, I know you did. You played very well. Uh, I think he, for a for a, for your first game. There is nothing that we can say which uh, well, you did everything very well. So, you know, confidence is angu zagaramba zichukura as my games are paka enda. So, uh, after a, a number of games, you know, every starting every week, I also started getting confidence which I know, you know, I'm now part of the team. I'm no longer that person. I know, I know, I green. I was also a regular, a regular, a regular player. And Ipapo, Ipapo. And uh, on record, in any playing for Islanders, I was never on the bench. Really? My career at Islanders, for the six years that I stayed at Islanders, I was never on the bench. All the games, he said that I was injured or I, I, was, I was starting. Yeah. So. See, <laughs> Uh, it's a it's a very a, a good record. So, yeah, impressive. week in week in week out week out week in week week out, and we had a lot of mixed fortunes. At times we would win, at times we would lose. Mm. So that very year, ninety seven, it was a very tough year. Very it was not a, it was not an easy year. And what what were the fans saying? And what we, let's say you meet them in town, you meet them in the in the wood. What did the fans say about the situation in Ireland? Yeah, but you not that bad. It's not that bad. I not You just need to, you know, when the team the team is not doing well, it's very difficult to put more my comments are 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 good. But I I think that season. Uh, we managed to end up at uh, number number eight because mm -hmm. the previous season I think Tanga Tava number was it number Islanders it finished in number ten so yeah, that, that the, bad for, a team, for a team like Islanders it was very bad mm -hmm. so that season the 1997 90, 90, 90, season 1997 season we finished at least top top eight bracket eight, yeah. uh, unfortunately. A season prior to the opera, we had only Raman Kumbo, Madinda had left. Oh, Wanga and Oga. Did you go to Botswana? Uh, you know, like I said, things were not going were, were, were not going well. Was he fired? He resigned? What uh, I think he resigned. 
Yeah. Uh, cause the the results were not were not uh, good. Uh, so he ended up resigning. Then Raman took over. Uh, the, his assistant Raman took over. In the, the beginning of the new season. In, in the beginning of the new season. That was ninety. That was ninety eight. When my uh, league the league ninety eight and ninety nine. Yes. Paya was same league again. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Katanga mna August. Yeah. Paya ended up in the the, yes. the following year. Mm. Uh, so that year. In uh, '98, uh, most of my, my senior players, I think, Ivan Gavabuda. So we had only my junior players we, who graduated from my juniors coming to the senior team, and us we had played the previous seasons. Yeah. Previous season. Who, who came? Who came through? Uh, there were the likes of Ana Anatsuro. There was a boy in the tour mm -hmm. who came in from my, my juniors. I would even watch I forget forgotten the names. So the 98-99 season, uh Tango Tanga, Chingo Chingo win our games. I think we went we went we went on to win something like uh, nine games in a row. Mm. So people were not so serious about us because by by Fungo they at one time they will falter. Mm. But uh leaky did we, did people know that the team that was built by Madinda, young yeah, yeah, yeah. getting to the in, in, into the next, next season. season yeah. And so we started winning games. We started winning games. I think we went for eight games winning and uh Takatopa League, Tripam Soropa League. And we went on to win another my, my, my games Agatevera. So that's when some other big teams started taking us serious. I know our fans are very And I still remember uh, there were big teams like Caps United, big teams like the Dynamo. So you know to go on and win against a team like Dynamo, to go on and win, uh, and win against a team like Caps United, it need people with guts. Yeah. So Pataka Tanga Kutamba Tishi Wina, when Vaga Tanga Kutora serious. But she told us serious. People started coming to the stadium. People started to started to follow to follow us wherever we go, and uh, I think that was one of the finest moments here Islanders. What the Islanders when we travel there, wherever they were going, they would like follow Islanders, mm -hmm. and we we never disappointed every time they followed us. Yeah. Tight again, and we will come there with a good result. We will come there and we will go out and win games. So, you know, when you become the team that goes away and win games, you become my candidates a championship. Because yes. you know, Kuti Pawom is obvious it's a win. Yes. So, Baba Fizi, Akatanga Kuzara, people were coming, I want to be toilet, ground in, you know, people. Sebe kuna ama imiti ya, ya bisi kuluma ano, kulo tezi, kulo bia, kulo bani, kulo bani. So, People Bola started. Was now playing as well. Ongo kutama na Bia now. Bia pandaka suka kwa Islanders. Bia was was it Islanders. Oh, okay. Bia was my senior at Islanders. Oh, okay. Bia he started playing for Islanders the previous year, the 90, 96. He started playing oh, 96. Oh, when we, you were playing with the, with Becky and and Becky and yourself and Mackay, where was Bia? Then? Bia was injured by that time. Oh, okay. Uh, now I get it. And uh, at times Bia they would like play him as a as a midfielder. Because Bia, you used to play like he even coming in from the midfield. Yes, yes, so yes. Uh, by that time, Bia anga 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 But so when we started getting the attention, we started getting the attention. You know, we midi. I think I got to run in in Nzwe. I know a Thailanders there is this captain. A Thailanders there is B. A Thailanders there is so and so. And we also acquired another striker from Korakated, uh, Taban Masawi. Oh, yes. Taban Masa, we played together. It 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 it, 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 it and uh, I still remember a uh, uh, Raman. Pa kan achungo ni vunza achungo taura. Chita kodesa. Uta kuna ma ma players are are good. Nata no, there's one guy. He's very good, but he's lazy. Mm. Taban was a very good player, but he was, he was lazy. lazy. I was very lazy, but in terms of uh, giving you something, yeah. I I kupa so. I, I cannot tell why he partnered with in, in Zenzo up front. Oh, no, but that partnership. Partnership with Taban and Zenzo, Zenzo. Yeah. Uh, during the 98 99, 99 season. Uh, and uh, I think the, it was one of the 
most feared uh, partnership in Zimbabwe at that time. Yes. Because they will score goals with those guys. Mm. So we, we, we went on to win the league that, that year uh, of which... From number eight. From number, from number eight, can you imagine? To, to winning the league. It was something awesome. that we never believed. Which I know, uh, come end of season, it's us who have won the league. Even yeah. Pataka Tanga win, and watch it. Ah, Fana, 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 Vasha Punja, Vasha Punja, Vasha Punja. But Pakas were Tanga were serious when Takwenda towards the, 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 the last games. Vasha yeah. Nota, I know these guys are serious. They, that's where they, they started taking us serious. And Baba Fields was it's Ah, Baba Fields. Yes, guys, when I was Baba Fields. So, was doing a figure Baba Fields and I listen to my figure one. One way to win the world. You won't find the space, the space to sit. Because yeah. Baba Fields was almost pegged week in, week out. Every time we played it, Baba Fields, the stadium was pegged. Yeah. So it was a uh, very nice playing under such a such a crowd, okay. and you know when you when they are sharing you up, when they are, they are doing all sorts of all sorts of things, you know, we 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 were very very motivated. Is that the year you won the Soccer Star of the Year award? No, mm, I won the Soccer Star of the Year award in two thousand and three. Take us through the. Take us through. Did, oh, it was our. Mama, we have to leave. We went, we went on to league, win the league for, for the next coming three years. Wow. Ah. So you won it four times? I, we won it four, four times. In a row? In a row. Yes. So uh, uh, in 2003, that's when I was crowned soccer star of the year. We, we had won the league. Yes. And uh, it was one of the best moments uh, of tell, my tell, life. Tell us about that season. How did you play for you to actually say, did you feel... That you know what during the season that you know what I'm gonna get that gong. I'm going to win this thing. When when exactly did you start thinking that you know what I can actually take this thing? Ah, uh, this is not the case. Uh, you know, Nangela, uti ukaba uti zawini logs in. But I I I'm a games. I'm I I consistent. I I I would play well week in week out, week in week out. And I think he chime chime chagaita uti maybe I end up winning that the. The soccer star of the year award was my performance at national team. Oh, we now we, we were also playing for Yeah, I was also playing for the national team as well. well we, we're going to be talking about that. We want to hear more about the Kong. We want to know how you felt. When did you exactly know? And when you heard that you were the soccer star of the year, what did you do? That and many more. We're going to hear about that in the last and third segment of the show. Guys, we're just going to go for a break. We're getting into the third segment where we're going to be hearing about Jessica Pena playing for the national team and also the gong. How did it feel to lift up that trophy? That trophy, the Soccer Star of the Year Award. Yes, you won it in 2003 when they won the league as well with the Highlanders. Don't move away, guys. There's many more to come from Jessica Pena. We are back in a minute. Now there's a group of powering the show. Don't move. Losing the person I loved the most was one of the hardest things I've ever had to face. And because I was away from home, it made it much more difficult. That is when I saw how important it is to have a friend. A friend to ease the burden. A friend to take care of things when you can't. A friend to help you get home. Yes, guys, welcome back. Jessica Peña in the house, the Soccer Star of the Year in 2003, the league championship winner with Highlanders in 2003. How did it feel? You're winning the league. You are the Soccer Star of the Year. Yeah, uh, the feeling was awesome. I still remember uh, when, we, when, I, when I won the Soccer Star of the Year, that very year, uh, the ceremony was held here in Bulawayo. Oh, yes. Uh, if I still remember, that's, that's the only ceremony that has been held here in Bulawayo. So it was it's your it own record? Wa, it, wa, it was my own my, record. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because, yes. hey, when I was in Bulawayo, it was I, Joanne Singozo, and Gifty Kamriyo, who were the top three. Your own teammate? In my, my, my own teammate, jo Joanne Singozo. And I think it did, and, and, and we were the top three. My own teammate, Joanne Singozo. And I think it did, any of the three could, could lend it. Yeah. Uh, so, and... 
what make, made it even uh, sweeter for me is that I, I was I was I was a defender, and the two of them they were they were midfielders. Yes. So you know, uh, if I still remember, Tanga Taga Rangua ya Karebesa, Tisina kwa na a defender we we had won the 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 the, the soccer star of the year yeah, award. Yeah. yeah. So for me, it was a great feeling. Hey, uh, as is why Did you feel? When you were looking, you were looking at Kit uh, you were looking at uh, Johannes goals. Did you feel that you can, you can, you, you could take it? I never felt that I, 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 I could, I could win it, considering that I was a defender and they were creative players. So I'm going to resign as well. Ah, number three is okay. Ah, okay. yeah, well, I was, I was content <laughs> there, but uh, 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 at least. Uh, the guys who, 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 who made the selection, mm -hmm. I think now uh, the, uh, I, I can applaud them because uh, they did very well. Could you notice what, what, what I, what what I contributed? Yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, any, any of the three could win it. Yeah. So I was very happy when, when I heard that it was me. Uh, to be honest, in any panga person as well, I went there not knowing what was what was what was going to happen. So, so when they were announcing when they started, they start with the with the third one, number three, number second. So when they announced the second, so I knew it was me. <laughs> it was a great feeling. Yes. It was a great feeling to, to I, say. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. So what did you do? Did you just get up and the number two? Who was number two? Number two was Gifty. Was, was Gifty? Uh, number three was Joanne Sungozo. So I announced the number two. You are number two. What do you do? What do you do? Ah, uh, uh, number two. You know, I, I still remember I was sitting next to NST Spider and yeah. Joanne Sungozo. I got from what I know. This is yours. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was a great feeling because you know it's something you, every player, you say every player, player's dream to to win that accolade. Yes, uh, yes. So it was one of the finest moments of my career, uh, winning the, the the soccer star of the year. And you went to pick to 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 grab your award. So why feel like almost near my jelly legs? Right? In Papua, it was the same night where we awarded our uh, so I mean the the championship trophy. As well. So, uh, yeah. so first of all, Ndagata Nganda 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 I was now the captain. Wow. I left. I was now the captain. Yes. So Ndagata Nganda 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 the championship trophy. Yes. Then I went on to take my, my so I, I the, ah, the, it was your day. <laughs> the championship <laughs> trophy and my, my soccer star of the year trophy on, on my hands. It was your day. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can, can, I can so say that. So what did you do that night to celebrate? Yeah, yeah, I think we celebrated a lot. Uh, we slept around four that, that that very that very day. It was a. a wait, 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 did it happen? It happened at uh, trade fairgrounds. Trade fairgrounds. So yeah. we had fun. We celebrated there. We celebrated there, and we went on to celebrate uh, different places. You know. No uh, places. <laughs> <laughs> I had to know where did you go? Ah uh, no, yeah. In right, mm -hmm. we we had a good manager. Yeah. So he knew what he was doing. I'm not going to say he's coming to join the set to the sense in case he's going So he was always with us. So he took us. Well, I know you guys. Yeah. Uh, I know you drink, but I, I you need to be under my my, my eyes so, yeah. so that I see what you are doing. Yeah. Uh, so it was it was a great feeling. It was a great feeling. <laughs> okay, okay. When when you won the league, you were winning games. You were winning games. What did you what did you, what did you do to celebrate? Let's say you play at Papa Fields. You win a match after the match. What did you, what did you what did you guys used to do? Yeah, we at Thailanders we, we we used to go to uh, to the clubhouse. We have a few drinks there. The clubs the clubhouse. We interact with the fans, and you know we like stay. Maybe for one or two hours. Then after that, we we'll like go to our uh, different respective places. You uh, different respective places or somewhere else where you can actually have your own fun without the manager. Yeah, you know they were they were guys who, who, who were like like me. I, I used to drink by then. Mm -hmm. We we'll go to our places. Let me have a funga figure. Eh, eh, look, end up end up in that corner. Eh, end up in Zami. Se be se be pa uta ano tizi. Ah, se figile se se corner la pa. Eh, se be kasu kuluma. Eh, what what is? I know you played a very good game you know you, you needed that uh, to to be close to people who support you oh, yes so yes. Uh, each and everyone 
we team. Why didn't I? Yeah, kila pa hamba ko na yung. But when we first celebrate as a team, yeah, then we go to our respective places. Places, then yeah. you, you, you also enjoy. Exactly. Yes, you talked about that you, you were now in the national team. You were the captain. You won the Soccer Star of the Year. You are in the national team. Tell, tell us about your first call up. When, when, when did this happen? When did you receive your first call up to the national team? Uh, I still remember my first call up in the national team was in the year two, uh, that was 1998. Yeah. 98. Uh, into Asians Agada by then, uh, which is a, a bit different from what's happening. They will like call the national team. And the national team will come back again. They will call uh, the local players and they will call the foreign based players. So the foreign based players, they will only come maybe a week prior to the game. Okay. So Isusuma local based play, club players. We will like go into the into camp maybe for three weeks. She yeah. trained at the same game. Yeah, yeah. So we we'll go into camp, go then go back to our clubs mm -hmm. uh, for my, for my matches. Then in the event maybe one of the foreign based or something happens, he will be replaced by the local player. Mm -hmm. So that's how the, he, he, by then So uh, we used to be called to enter. To not train, then we'll be told. I know my foreign base down here. Our commander to get a combo. I can't go can't go. I will treat my allowance. Then we end up in good training. Do you remember how much it was? I think I I I I don't. But there 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 was there was something that would sustain sustain us. Yeah. So Zwaiti can just go to tight every time when there's a national national team game. We'll be called to end up. Which is what I told you. So in uh, when uh, Mr. Sande Marimo was the, the the coach by then, yeah. so you like call me on the green now on the days of I know it is uh, we want to play you, but at the moment there is so and so who's playing there. So mm. just keep be patient. Maybe one day you will play. Mm. So Zakaramba Shitika Shitika Kusenzagala 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 a uh, last minute we are dropped we come back we go last minute we are dropped then i still uh, i think my first game my first serious game that I, was, that, that I played was against mali we played mali at the uh national sports stadium the famous one the famous one the famous one, the famous one, one which uh, last last morning. exactly oh, yes yeah. the stadium was packed the stadium was packed and the stadium was packed to full capacity. What's, what's his name? Say Educator. Say Educator. Was, was playing. And the, there's when another. Like exactly. <laughs> and there's another guy who, who used to play for Real Madrid, uh, Angani PM or something like that. And I'm kind of He also. They, uh, they the whole team. Very good team. Their, their, their players were playing, playing their trade in Europe. In Europe. And. And then the Indirugumaga say Educator. I still remember it was me and Dumimaki. Ah, it was Kaitano and Dumimaki. He, he was sweeping. And I was sweeping. Tulani and Gavani. I know I it's played my my game. My serious, yeah, my my game. Serious. But it was this was was it was a very serious game because yeah. it, it was an Afghan game. We needed to qualify yeah, to qualify to, qualify. to uh, exactly. We needed to win that exactly game. exactly. So in that game, I think I played very well because I was uh, uh, nominated the man of the match in that game. Yes. Cause he, I think he in the gamma, the gamma that that that's the same to cater. Eh. I think Chaonga Chaka Zara. You know when yeah. you play when you play for 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 the national team, Zunigas waka tarisiru anivan. You just you just don't get a call to the national team. You get a call when they know that you are good. Yeah. So, kuti ma fans, especially the Dynamo's fans, kuti. Bazo accept a good player. There must be something that you 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 yeah, So I think in on that game I played very well and uh like I said I was nominated the the, the man of the match. Uh, it also helped me couldn't win a 
the soccer star of the year. Yeah, that's the year you you also you won the one the soccer star, the Ex- soccer star of the year. Exactly. Yeah. Well, how did, we were the, we were not there. We were just following the game on uh, on a, on the phone calling because everybody every Zimbabwean out there we were we were excited. We were very very uh, into that game. We were paying attention because we knew that if we win this game, we were going to we were going to the Afcon. So after the match. What did you guys what what did you guys do the 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 whole celebration? What did you guys do? What did the Zimbabwe Football Association say? Who was the chairman then? Uh, I think the chairman by then it was uh, Rafik Rafikan. Rafikan. Yes, yes. Uh, so what did you, how did you guys celebrate? That uh, uh, Chandaka Chandaka nyang, nyang like we were like. Kind of time our games, we'll go to our our hotel, mm-hmm. uh, Crystal Lodge. Crystal then we'll cele- celebrate there. Mm-hmm. Then uh, those who wanted to continue with the, with the celebration, they'll go on to uh, different places. Mm-hmm. But you know, it was a very very good motivator because we needed to put money to qualify. To qualify and we, we, and we, we we managed to to win against them. So that was the result. These guys, for them to qualify, they needed to beat Mali because Mali was one of the big teams and getting group made. Mm-hmm. Mm. So we managed to, to beat Mali by, by one goal, which was scored by Lazarus Mwoni. And uh, uh, we, won, we went on to top that, uh, that group, group. Uh, and for, for us to qualify for the first time uh, to, to the African Nations Cup. So this was a very important that, match. That was a, that it was a very, very, very yes. important match for us. A national anthem. Magamira, Pepe. Tagamira. What was going on in the national hey, anthem? And hey, 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 hey. The game is about to start. Paninge pari tenses mwesu. Paninge pari tenses mwesu. Singa iti, you will be thinking about the game munguti, hey, what, what, you know. There, there is a lot. You, you are under a lot of pressure. There, there are fans. They are also putting you under pressure. You are playing at home. You are supposed to win. You are supposed to play well. So you know, you can you imagine the amount of pressure that you will be in? Yeah. Uh, so, but uh, I think you gathered yourself. We, you uh, yourself. we, we were composed and, and we, won, we went, went on to play and we won. And I you think were the man of the match. I was the man of the match. But uh, above all, I think we played as a team. That was that was that was uh, brilliant. Exactly. Then came the Nations Cup, and then the team was now getting into camp to go to that Nations Cup. You have qualified, and now there was there there was camp. We spoke about this uh, with Joy Lupata about about the selection on the night on the evening rather when the team was selected. Were you confident that you were going to be on that plane to Tunisia? Even though I was a regular, by then I was I was now a regular, but even though I was a regular. I was not that confident that I would make it. Because, you know, uh, we were confident that they were going. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it was all up to the coaches to choose. But uh, it's, it's, it's some of those things that happens in soccer. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I would say most of the guys who were part of the, the campaign, were going to end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mm. So, uh, so, I, so silently, silently, you were confident with me. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Yeah, I, I would say I was confident. <laughs> Joel, 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 Joel told us that he was in a blanket. He was sleeping <laughs> in the corner of a blanket. And he turned on the TV. I don't go get up once. You forget once. Joel sweating. I ask forget once. Joel, but that's when everything, everything else didn't matter because he was just waiting because he was sweating. I was also sweating to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, was, I, I was also sweating as well. So you were silently confident that you were going? Yeah, I was a bit confident uh, with the fact that I, I, I was a regular. Mm. But, you know, they were a class of defenders. They could have easily picked a guy from who was playing in Europe yeah, yeah. Uh, ahead of me. Mm. So, the confidence, Zango, and I, I just needed to be careful with the confidence in, in what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So take us through the experience of the Afcon from the from the airport. You remember the airport was was packed, thousands and thousands of people at the airport to say goodbye to the team that was going to the Nations Cup. What was going through your mind at that particular time? How did you feel as a Zimbabwean footballer? Yeah, before we left, I still remember we it was a a, a live uh, a program on television. Uh, Tapenda go Afcon, Afcon, uh, Tapenda Mbazi, 
we've been transported to to the plane to the airport. Hey, it was great because yeah. it was our first in history. So yeah. everyone at we airport wanted to give us a farewell, wanted to give us an advice. You know, when 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 a Tangata Garissa, maybe we 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 never qualified for a, any major tournament. Mm -hmm. So since this was our first, so everyone was excited. And again, Tishenda Oko, the group that was we were in. Oh, yeah, it was yeah, it was a tough group. Can okay. you imagine the likes of Cameroon, Anamboma, and Egypt? Uh, there was this other guy from Egypt who used to play for Tottenham. What's his name? Ma S what's his yes, name? I that tall guy who used to yes. play for for Mito. Mito. Eh. Yes, Mito. Eh, eh, eh. It was tight. It was tight. Unana Cameroon, Unana Samuel, Otto, Kuneva, but singers, you attack us, Vanamo, this time, Bamu, attack us, one of one going to be the Ah, it was, 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 uh, considering that it was our first time, I mm. think we did very well. And uh, unfortunately, some of the some of these games, Takas which you want to experience, mm. I think we gave them a lot of uh, respect. Mm -hmm. uh, by then, Takas would realize, oh, no, we 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 yeah, should we, we can compete with these guys. They are they are people like us. Uh, I still remember Takta and Anana Joeli got Jeremy Jitapi. He's not that he's not that good. Yeah, it's the opportunity that it, he got. Yeah. Even uh, their captain song. Mm. Uh, you could tell that this person uh, no fine. <laughs> but it's only that I don't I didn't I did not get that exposure. Yeah, uh, uh. Mm. So that's how it ended. Uh, we went there, we we enjoyed uh, uh, we came back even though we lost yeah, people they still managed to welcome us back when we came back. Did you go for the for the for the next Afcon? We qualified for the next Afcon. No, I only played the only the first one. The first one, the two the the two thousand the two thousand and four. But what a, what a, what an experience. It was a, a, a great experience. It was a great, a very great experience. You know, it's it's uh, those tournaments uh, where every player need, uh, uh, he has a dream to play in those tournaments because those are the major tournaments uh, like he, we have originally. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. Mm. Tell, tell us in your in your in your in your career, you played a Thailanders. A Thailanders who who can you say good is uh, these three, four? I'll give you four. Four players that you can say with this for this success that Highlanders, these were outstanding players at Highlanders, these were really good, the best players at Highlanders during your time. Uh, uh, I won't give you four. I'll give How you the, 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 give? the core. Because I think we lost. How many is the core? We lost uh, Zenzo. Zenzo went to Europe. Yeah. Uh, we lost a couple of players. They also went went, went away. But Joe also went. Joe, Joe also went. But we still managed to went on. Bia also left. We still managed to went on to win the the, the, next, the one. next one and the next one and the next one. So every player was special. Yes, I every agree. player I who agree. came into the setup was so special. I agree with you. Uh, Everyone was special. Everyone was so special. <laughs> <laughs> those, 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 those players they made me to to be where where, where yes, I am. Uh, exactly, who was exactly. The best? Who can you say are the best? Oh, yeah, I'll give you five. Okay, we say five. Who are the five best players that you played with the Islanders? Yeah, Tulani, mm -hmm. mm, Joanne Singozo, mm -hmm. uh, Betemba. Mm -hmm. Three. Mm, Kapini. Tapiwa Kapini. Tapiwa Kapini. Mm -hmm. Last one. Uh, and Gifty Lunga Junior. Gifty Lunga Junior. Those five. Those, those five, five, yeah. The, 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 those guys were, were very good players. So, like, in your, in your, in your career at Highlanders now, opposition, who did you think would, uh, these were the most difficult opponents? Five players from the opposition. Not really that you are in Makana now, but you are in a team here and you are with ah, these players were dangerous. Opposition players. We had a uh, cab from Amazulu. 
we had uh, Rene Mota, Kingston Rene Mota, from Etamba Wilangsha. We had you as well, and uh, during your days at 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 Caps. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and more and more in Katazo. Yeah, that time, that, that time you were still starting. That yeah, time. Uh, yeah, by, was, by, was, by then, by then I was starting. How did you feel facing us? So you know, we say we try to go to Then they say we try to make an na aloisi, to make an na mugen. Then we hit Kudena most the legs of another way I'm rewa. Yeah, I still remember that. Can I show you what I'm most? Eh, maybe kuma eleven, eleven. Mm. <laughs> it was not easy to play against yeah. those teams. It was not easy to, yeah. to, to be honest. Yeah. I think yeah. you'll be lying. Yeah. Playing against the enemy, playing against Capes, it 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 was you, you needed to panic. But you've had you've had a glittering career, you know, like you said that you know it's everyone's dream, every footballer's dream to actually win the soccer star of the year award. And as a defender, it's actually even an icing to the cake. Then you actually won four league titles on the trot, and you went to play uh, for Zimbabwe at the Afcon, and you were actually part of the team that actually won that final game against Mali. That's awesome. That's actually a brilliant career. You know, when people hear about Jessica Pena, they didn't know the magnitude, you know, the level that you went. As a, as a footballer, yeah. Does, in, 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 in your career, can you tell us about the funny moments that you that you can say you experienced uh, during the whole of uh, of of a, of a footballing career? Uh, there was one which comes into my mind. Uh, yeah. We were playing a it's it's national sports stadium. It was a national team game. Yeah, national team game. Uh, which team? Against which team? Uh, it was Mauritania. Mauritania yeah. So I was putting on the. Thermal pants, which were of which of a different color with the shirt that I was wearing. Yeah. So uh, second half, when we were coming back from the from the from the dressing rooms, uh, the referee actually noticed the black thermal pants that I was putting on, and I was putting on a green green shirt. Mm -hmm. So he told me to go and take off that thermal pants. Yeah. So ndaka enda ku dressing room, ndaka suka ndaka idonza yaka kuiri rambijana. So I think if you anger to Gara and Mark and Tan. So when I came out, Akati smooth as short I can buy one. I told you to go and take off that, remove that demo pins. So game to get up changing room. So everyone I think was by then anger to pin them ground. So I was still missing. So in the dressing room. I was with uh, Rafik Adam, the manager by then. Mm. So I took off uh, the thermal pants. So I Ndagasara is not underway. So I wanted to go and play with like that in Dagadar. Without any without other uh, pants. I was only uh, exactly. Yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Rafik Agavata, no, it's not possible for you to play without an underway. Yeah. So Ndagati manager, manager, what, 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 what can I do? Did say? I got to know I'm now giving you mine. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine Rafiki Kutaka Futa say. So I had to put on Rafiki's and uh, underpants. Yeah, I got a visa, I got a van keeper. It was so big. Hey. So I had to tie it with, with, with the short. <laughs> you know, after the game, when I told Joel, Joel, but what did happen? Ah, everyone, I'm not going to say it. And I got sick on that day. But uh, we, 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 we won the match. <laughs> we won the match. I can't I can't hear you. Yeah, that was really, that was actually really funny. I can actually imagine you being out of here at the weekend, which is so bad in the green. But no one noticed. No, no, no one even noticed that. And I still remember after the game, yeah. I just took his underpants like a candle and beer. That was, that was, one oh, oh, funny moment funny that I experienced in mm. Mbora and uh, at Highlanders, I think we're playing against Zimbabwe Saints. Mm. So in uh, we're friends with the likes of Anachip also, so we used to stay mm. in the same mood. And uh, I I was in the system of uh, dribbling my, 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 my strikers at the back. So mm. Chipo 
anga mbondu za gati I know if you try that you you find six against me mm. cha kutorera mm. so we game ranga ra anga ri 00 it was a certain tournament so we had to play on two legs so i tried to dribble past chipo ah and aka variba aka ritora kana go isa so bora para aka pinda ndakuenda kunotora bora mnete ah ndakatukwa kuti nekuti munoni wa mese doro wampa but you know it, 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 it was it was it was a genuine mistake kuti i know uh, uh, i had often done that in this but uh, that day paragabiwa and that the fact that yakabiwa nemunhu and who was my friend and they just thought to know what take us a game kayo what take us a game nekuti munhu no mese eh so I think I think he went on to buy you a pint of beer after that. Uh, he, 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 after the match, he told me that I didn't do that. If you try your funny things against me, uh, I'll get the boys school. Uh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, yeah. As advice to youngsters, what can you advise youngsters who want to reach that level of success that you achieved as a footballer? Yeah, uh, I, I I want to say they just have to stay focused because football. It's, it's possible you can do it, but it's not easy. Mm -hmm. You need to uh, to keep your head uh, your your head straight. Uh, you need to prioritize things that you want in life. Because you know, bora, you know, with with your body. So if you don't take care of your body, it becomes very difficult to to excel to the to the limits. So uh, young players they need to prioritize things that they want in life. You need to have goals. You need to, you need to have uh, the things that you want in life. You don't just play soccer for the sake of playing. You just set your goals and say, no, I want to achieve this, this and this and this and this. You re realize maybe uh, after some time, you have achieved three quarters of the thing that you that were, you, you were, were, were on, your, on your list. So, ever funny in Abasa Sebanani, it's possible, but it's not easy. Yeah, now that's a really great advice from you. But when you look now, when you look back at your time playing in the top flight, and now when you look, we go and watch the top flight football this, uh, the, uh, the, uh, these days, what do you think can actually be the differences between that time and this time? Yeah, I would say my standards of, of football, they've uh, uh, greatly fallen down because uh, you know, right now, players are more concerned about money. But when we when we're playing, you play. Then when you are seen, money will come later. But right now, my players are going They are more concerned about what they get. Then you know about what they can produce. what what they can produce because it's what can what you can produce. That then you enter enter an animal ya 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 orkuda. We 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 don't mind having a player she ten thousand ten thousand a week here in Zimbabwe as long as she enter an ni what what is producing. Mm -hmm. We have the likes of Ana Ronaldo. They are they are getting paid a lot of money, but it's not enter an with 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 their performance. Mm -hmm. So we need players. Uh, kuti, what what they talk, what they want, so family and any news of any time ground. Yes, thanks, Daisy, for that great advice to the youngsters. They need to train, they need to focus, and they need to talk about what they want from what they are producing on the field of play. I think that's a great advice for you, youngsters who are watching, guys. Listen to the man himself, he has done it on the soccer field, he produced. And then he earned what he got out of the game. This company, what are you what are, what are you doing at the moment? Uh, currently, I've got my own academy that I started, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's a small academy. Mm -hmm. uh, but you want it to grow. I right? want it to grow. Yes. Yeah, uh, very much. I want it to grow. So, uh, in academy, I also specialize on uh, boys who are looking for um, uh, scholarship places mm -hmm. uh, outside Education. the country. Yes. Like uh, I was exposed to Falcon, I used to, to be a coach at Falcon. Mm -hmm. So there, I realized that there are a number of boys uh, who are in need of the um, scholarship, scholarship things. Mm -hmm. And they also need to be good academically. 
so we balance a footy ne 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 sport too. So I'm training most of my, of the boys that I'm training. I'm training them, uh, the boys who are coming from who are looking for my my, my scholarship, and I also train any other person are who's interested in in, 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 in football. Yeah. So what kind of partnerships do you do you, do you, do you think you're looking for so that you know it can boost your academy, it can make your academy grow? What you need the partnerships. Everything that you, what do you think can be done for your academy to actually grow? So, I mean, Kangelele, Uti, Naba, and Yatola people who can actually help me grow my 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 my, my thing because mm -hmm. uh, there are challenges that I also face, yes. uh, especially you know, uh, we have got we need good places to train. Yes. Because when you when you're doing something like that, people they, they 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 need to see that you are doing something that is proper. Yes, yes. So uh, we need things in, in in terms of equipment. Uh, uh, people who can come in and partner partner with with me uh, to to grow the, the, the this brand. Mm. Yes, I think thank thank you very much. This is what we actually expect for our legends to come to go back into the community to go back into their neighborhoods to actually plow back what they've learned, what they've gained over the years. You have gained so much, so much experience in this game of football. It can only be making us happy for you to actually go back there. So guys, if there's anyone out there who thinks they can partner Desika Peña here in Blauayo, he has started a very uh, noble course here, Football Academy, looking for sponsorship, looking for scholarship for youngsters. Please uh, get in touch with Desika Peña and may help him grow the academy with equipment, with ideas, with whatever you can partner him with because he is passionate about this project this thank you very much for coming to the show it has been a very nice show and i've learned so much from you i've learned things that i never knew and i also got the lessons from you the lessons that i'm also going to take to arari it is nice it was nice to come down here to blower to talk to the legend himself former soccer star former highlanders yeah. captain winning championship winning captain as well there's We'll see you again. Yes, guys, uh, we've come to the end of our show. Nyaro the crew party this show. I am happy to have come to Blauer to talk to Desi Kapenya. Next week, we'll be bringing you another footballing legend to talk about their journey. But for now, I am out of here. My name is Alois Bunjira. Nyaro the group, like I said, powering the show. Cheers. In 2001, Zimbabwe's Sawira Mukuru was born, humble beginnings though they were, and armed with nothing but a vision. Philip Mataranyika, Nyaradzo Group CEO, saw a need in Zimbabwe society, a need that needed a strong hand to fulfill it, a vision to provide the best possible service to its clientele in order to meet the demand for efficient, client-based funeral services in Zimbabwe. Investing in infrastructure, machinery, vehicles, staff training. Armed with the CEO's vision and mission to be the preferred provider of insurance risk and event management solutions. Through listening to and understanding the needs of our stakeholders with due care for the environment, we grew and grew. We crossed the Limpopo into South Africa. Over the Mediterranean and British Tunnel. And we continued to grow. Through the good times, And the band. Whether in the city or
people in the village. O Diaspora All we had and all we have is each other. 20 years of service. Thank you. Thank you. 20 years of gratefulness. Thank you. 20 years of thanksgiving. Thank you. 20 years of memories. Thank you. 20 years of hope. Thank you. Thank you. Hope for an even greater future. Thank you. Thank you. The Nyaradzo group of companies would like to thank all our clients for working side by side with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. From all of us here at Nyarazo, the past 20 years wouldn't have been possible without you. Thank you. Today is a special day for the Nyarazo group as we celebrate 20 years since our founding with humility and gratitude. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all stakeholders, our board of directors, management and staff, as well as our customers who have supported us through this journey. It's been an exciting journey and I'd like to thank you all for all the support and the hard work.